Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today I'm going to be making a Phantom MK8. This is the 8th Phantom, basically a really cool looking, sleek, powerful fighter I've been making. And it's the 8th version of it. Prepare to be amazed. So first I'm designing the cockpit. This cockpit is actually not going to be used. I'm going to delete it later and I'll be moving it forward. But as you see, I'm just changing settings because I'm using right now a Mac. Uh, my Windows computer is broken and I'm having to use a Mac. <laughs> so now I'm starting to do the arc around it. Uh, I've seen many ships nowadays that are using this arc. It's basically built around it and then it's connected to other things. So this little arc will go around the little fighter and have things attached to it, as you see here. So I'm just putting some wedges just to make it a little bit smoother. And then I'll be putting some guns on the, arc, the side of the arc. If we see here, we have to attach them to the weapons computer first. So we have to put some more wedges, and then we put some more wedges here just to make it look sleeker. I have to now fill the. Now, as you see there, I took away the cockpit, like I said before. And now we're going to put make this thing longer. And now I'll just make a temporary cockpit because I couldn't be bothered to make another one. So. I just put some blocks down without any wedges. Now I try to make the guns longer and just see how it works. But then I find out that actually this is not the right size. So yeah, I change it and as you see here, now there's four long antimatter cannons. And there's a giant power brick inside and I add some shields. Makes it, this ship pretty good already, it's a decent power. The power at this point could sustain itself. The shields were about 10k at this point, if I remember. Uh, yeah, I add some more detail on the sides with the blocks here. And then just make some little winglets here. And let's hover around to see how the general look is. Add these tiny wing bits here. This is just a testing because this is not the final result because I was, this is really just experimenting what looks good, what looks bad. Anyway, yeah, I'll try to see what happens, what looks better, what wings types look better. And I find that this kind of V-shaped wing type looks slightly better than the other triangular one. The straight triangle. And then I add some little vents to the side. If you see, I'm um, adding kind of an out, outlet to vent out intake, I heard you got to call it. And uh, yeah, I'm just making more space for it, taking away unnecessary hole to add more uh, systems inside. Then buy some ice crystal to put the vents because the vents look very good when you put ice crystal inside of them. And then, uh, yeah, I hover around and look at this. And there's some, there's just some incorrect colors, so I then put, and then I also place some power and then put some guns inside of it just to increase the general DPS of the ship. And then I just keep on placing more cannons and power until I get a decent sustainable antimatter array which does decent DPS and as you see here I'm redesigning the cockpit the general cockpit design for all the phantoms before you can see all the phantoms if you just type in ace face and star made doc on the star made website you'll probably find all my phantoms there and yeah I keep on messing around with the systems inside this is the first time actually making a phantom by making the hull first and then the systems inside. I tend to usually make the systems and then place hull outside, but in the end I think that design constraints come if I do that. So instead just make it look beautiful, then put things inside. Uh, and then I just keep on designing these vents, just see if they look good. Go around, test stuff. Need to buy some cockpits because it's quite hard to see when you're not in the core. I test out the guns and asteroids. Yeah, asteroids are always the default thing. Just I test my guns on. Fly around, yes. And the, the gun the guns do about four thousand DPS if I'm not correct. If I'm not wrong. <laughs> the the guns are pretty good on this ship. So then if we look around I'm just fixing the back door and making the arc a little bit just a little bit more simpler instead of having this lots of innies and outies all over the place. I put some little dis winglets or bulges on the side of the arc, but these really are going to be just taken away later. They're just tested. So then, if we go here, I'm just linking all this, stuff, checking that everything's linked. 
then uh, I see that I've got D1000 missile CPU and I remember I forgot to use it so you know what I'm gonna use the D1000 missiles now I'm gonna place all these D1000 missiles everywhere D1000 missiles are very I uh, have a very high damage because they don't can't lock onto everything and I just place lots of them because the thing about missiles you have to play lots place lots of them but like maybe in each group you have to have at least 10 missiles you saw there this tiny ship did quite a bit of damage if you just saw that asteroid hit and I'm just gonna place more tiny little arrays of it and it will have ginormous impact on its target if you saw there and the problem is though if you have lots of small arrays the reload time is very very slow but anyway I'm trying to make the missiles go a bit more streamlined with the walls of the ship and then I place some more wedges just to smooth everything out on the sides see here placing the more wedges here and then I'm just yeah hovering around just placing more wedges and I place some ice crystal on those kind of guns just to make them look like they're glowing make them look like they're special in some kind of way and I put some more hole on the outside just to cover things and I place more wedges on the winglets here just to see here yeah, I put this little blue line it took those blue things away because I didn't think they looked good and added some more detail on the actual winglets themselves because I didn't think those sticking out pieces of hull looked that great. And then I added these V-shaped things there, and at first they didn't look that great, but then later they become pretty good. I add more missiles, even more missiles. This thing becomes devastating. It can like one hit a regular fighter, if it just hits anything. Because usually missiles at this size do not do any damage, but this will just devastate. Probably even a ship double this size. I'm not sure, I've not tried it yet. But then I try to do a design by putting these little upwards winglets and then I attach little missiles again and make it I put some ice crystal just to make it look good. Then I just yeah, smoothen it out with wedges. Looks pretty good actually. Look like tiny little wind engines on the sides. Now you see that the 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 winglets look pretty decent pretty decent now. I put some wedges on the top of these tiny engines just so they uh, just have some more character to them. And then I just do some f small things here and there. Add some wedges, add some hull. All these things are necessary to make a good fighter, especially a phantom. Hull is an important thing. Add some blue hull, white hull. My characters, my signifying, my theme, I don't know what you call them, these color, my theme colors, I guess you would call them. So I add some lines just to make everything look better. That looks pretty decent. Add some wedges. Oh, that looks so good. Recalling back to how this was built, this just looks so good. Cockpit is so good, nice. This is one of the best cockpits I've probably have made in the Phantom series. The most important thing about Phantom is, of course, the cockpit. I go around and try it out a bit. It's close to being done, the ship. I'm just doing some finishing touches here and there. I just, I tested out on the Phantom MK1, which is uh, behind me. I'm just waiting until the missiles will reload until I can actually shoot in them. So in the meantime, I'm just building, as you see here. I had some little other winglets here just to make it look a bit better. I thought this looked better just putting these like, tiny winglets here. Now we have 200 mass, which is like a heavy fighter. And uh, in my opinion, some people call like a thousand mass light fighter, which I think is very strange. But yeah, in my opinion, 200 mass is a heavy fighter. So then we go here, I fix some copper things, and then I just add some little hole. I try to seal in now the the area of which you, um, you the, co the actual like cockpit. And now we see that I just demolished that Phantom MK1 with just one missile hit. Not even all the missiles hit it, and it just destroyed it. It's now I just buy items for the interior, the tiny interior of what's uh, what's here. I added a gravity unit, faction module, and storage units, and finally a little bit of light so I can at least see here. Then I noticed that the the room is like slightly too small for the gravity, so I have to extend the room one bollock so I can actually fly out of the gravity when I get out of it. You'll see soon. Now I'm trying to figure out where to put the faction module. After a while, I just finally decided to put it above the core. Okay, so here's the final product. I'm really satisfied with the results. Thanks for watching guys, please like, comment and subscribe, Ace Face out!